Butterflies in My Stomach, and Other School Hazards by Serge Bloch. On my first day of school, my mother said I got up on the wrong side of the bed. She asked if we needed to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk so I wouldn't bottle up my feelings. As I left the house, Dad told me to put my best foot forward. On the way to the bus stop, my sister said that on her first day of school, she had butterflies in her stomach. I think I have them too. Then she told me to hurry up because we'd be in a real pickle if we missed the bus. When I sat down, the bus driver asked if I was feeling blue or maybe just a little under the weather. When I got to school, my new teacher said hello, but I didn't answer. Has the cat got your tongue, he asked me. And then he said he was all ears whenever I was ready to come out of my shell. He read us a funny book. The kid next to me said he was laughing his head off. Our teacher told him to zip his lip and hold still, even though he had ants in his pants. Then the teacher said that if he didn't settle down, he'd have to talk to the principal because she was the big cheese. In gym class, I kept dropping the ball and the gym teacher said that if I ever want to be top banana in sports, I'll really have to practice. Soon it was time to eat. Why the long face, the school cook asked. Then she told me not to worry so much because we are all in the same boat on the first day of school. I went out to play but then a teacher said that we had to go back inside because it was about to start raining cats and dogs. I peeked out the window hoping to see my dog Roger. No luck. During library time, the librarian told us that she loved getting lost in a book and that we would too. When you read, she said, the world is your oyster. She said we could take some books home, but if we lost them, we'd be up a creek without a paddle. I asked her if she had any stories about a boy who misses his dog. She told me I was an open book and that it was fine to wear my heart on my sleeve. But when I asked her if I could bring Roger to school with me tomorrow, she told me not to open that can of worms. I was starting to get a headache, so the librarian sent me to see the school nurse. The nurse let me lie down. She said she could see that school really wasn't my cup of tea. I gave her a funny look. And she said, it's only your first day. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. But what if Roger forgets all about me while I'm here, I asked her. Let's just cross that bridge when we come to it, she said. The nurse took me back to my classroom. Soldier on, she said, tomorrow will be a better day. I'll keep an eye out for you. Our teacher gave us an assignment to finish for tomorrow. I expect you all to be busy bees tonight, he said. That made me laugh a little. Homework is for the birds, the kid next to me grumbled. I grinned at him and he smiled back. Before I knew it, the bell rang and it was time to go home. The bus driver asked me how my day went. She said that school was sometimes a tough nut to crack. 
but that every cloud has a silver lining. I had no idea what she meant by that, but when the bus pulled up in front of my house, I was as happy as a puppy with two tails. The end and happy reading.